Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages for the sign of Taurus in mid-January 2021. What is going on, Taurus? How are you guys doing? I hope that you are doing well. All right, Taurus, welcome to mid-January. How is everything going? How are you? Um, a little bit of a bumpy start to the to the year here in 2021. Uh, so uh, I've been saying it for several months now, but possibly more than ever. I hope that you are safe, happy, and healthy, and secure wherever you are in the world right now, Taurus. Uh, here in the States, things got off to a very rough start. Um, you know, I'm encouraging everybody to make good choices, to to err on the side of goodness, kindness, peace, um, <laughs> all those good things, because, you know, it's it's something that is very necessary in order for us to all progress towards a more beneficial future, okay? Um, you know, everybody's welcome here on my channel, but at the same time, if you're not about anything enlightening, I don't see why you're here on this channel or any other channel, you know what I mean? Uh, but let's let's just go ahead and leave that where it is. Again, guys, I hope you're having a fabulous time wherever you are. Happy New Year to you. And again, hope that you are safe, happy, healthy, and secure. Take care of yourselves. Take care of other people. Make good choices. Be kind, okay? Uh, Taurus, no other announcements, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Anything you want from me, guys, it's already in the description box below. If you want the timestamp, it is down there. If you're looking for information on how to purchase a personal reading with me, that is also down there. Any questions before you place an order, just email me at the same address you see listed there, and I will answer you as soon as I can. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, there is a link for that down below as well, okay? All right, Taurus, let's find you a story. Let's find you some messages with the tarot, please. For Taurus in mid-January 2021. Messages for Taurus in mid-January 2021. Show me. Hmm. A little bit of a bridge. I don't know what the hell a little bit of a bridge is. It's either it's a bridge or it's not. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how much shuffling they want before we get into it, okay? One more. Thank you. So... Definitely wasn't a little bit of a bridge. That was <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead. For tours, please, mid-January. No, thank you. Okay. Wow, that's three. Um Okay. Eight of Swords. Oh, it's more than three. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, and the Emperor. Alright. Well, you got yourself a story, alright. That came out here pretty quickly. Alright, let's get into it. Eight of Swords for you guys to start. Ugh. Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, Sword, 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 Swords, and the Emperor on the end there. Major Arcana for Aries. Could be dealing with an Aries, but you don't have to be. Taurus, what's this all about? Um, I, I, it's not good. Doesn't feel very nice. Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords. Taurus, it feels like you're under pressure or you're running from... Maybe running isn't the best word, but there's there's like this pressure here. There's a lot of anguish here, a lot of mental anguish here. Um, maybe some of you have been... I, they keep, okay, maybe running is the word. Maybe some of you have been running from something, avoiding something, um, and now you're being you're being forced to confront it or this is someone else you're dealing with. It is a general reading, so it can go the other way. But it feels like someone here has been running Seven of Swords from something, but they can't get out of it truly, Eight of Swords. And the confrontation is very drastic with the Five of Swords, very dramatic, okay? Um, this could culminate in your life, Taurus, to um, some type of argument, some type of fight, some type of very divisive conversation because i mean i'm really struck by this what looks like a victorian era nurse or something like that uh just grabbing that those those chef's knives or and yeah or okay or okay thank you <laughs> they're like or <laughs> or is this someone stirring the pot in your life so maybe there's like secrets and gossip here and somebody finally decides in this dynamic of however many people there are. There's many people here. Feels like family and friends. Um, and maybe somebody finally says, you know what? I'm not going to 
hold these secrets anymore because you can you can have secrets uh, a little bit excuse me with the seven of swords and the withholding can be represented with the eight of swords so Taurus somewhere in here lots of plaguing thoughts heavy thoughts or busy thoughts anxious thoughts right sneaking lying manipulation running around you know maybe that's it you're in the middle of like It's possible someone's getting caught out in their lies, in their behavior, in their back and forthness or, or in their something underhanded is possibly going to be revealed. And in the middle of that, someone is trying to do damage control, right? So instead of admitting the truth, whether that be you admit the truth or someone else admit the truth, I don't know who it is, but instead of fully admitting the truth, we continue to lie, we continue to try to manipulate, we continue to try to run away from the problem instead of standing firm in the light of honesty, being genuine, admitting fault if there's fault to be admitted. You know what I mean? Somebody here is just like at every turn trying to get away from with something or at every turn is trying to protect themselves in some type of way. Um, this is very confusing because this energy... Okay, maybe that's why. Um, swords, again, three, three, three cards of swords. A lot of mental busyness. <laughs> like a lot is going on in your brain or in the brain of somebody else. And so there's moments where it's just like, I should come clean. And then, and then like two seconds later, like possibly literally two seconds later, no, 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 there's no way I could say that. There, if I say that, then this will happen. And it's just like this worry and this anxiety and it's churning over and 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 over, and over again in the brain. And it just will not stop. So there's this incessant battle within one person or it's a group of people or, or trying to maintain some type of something with other people. So there's lies, manipulation, there's omission with other people. And somehow there's someone in the situation who feels they're doing a good, maybe not doing a good job, but they, this is the best they know how to do five of swords. This is, this is what they know how to do. They, you know, the idea of coming, like I said, coming clean, like it's too much. It would be, it would be too much. It's too dramatic or there's, it's too risky or it would ruin something. So I, I, I I'm sorry to speak in like such generalities because by now I would hope to have had like a story and been like, oh, it's probably with your job or maybe there's a friend who's close to you. It could be anything. I mean, that's sort of the, uh, the, the way of a general reading, but I'm super confused and I think that's reflective of what's going on in one person's mind or what's going on in the dynamic between uh, one person and, and at least two or three other people, it feels like. Okay. Um, it's not the most mature way to deal with this. It's not, as I said before, it's not the most honest way to deal with it. Lots of secrecy. You've got two in the cards here, the seven in the Eight of Swords, in both of the illustrations, you've got very full and luminous moons in the cards, which indicates some type of intuitive knowing and the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the withholding of the truth. It's, it's secret keeping. It's mysterious, right? And then over here, there's a little bit more light in the Five of Swords. So maybe that's what's going on is through confrontation because look at the light that's in the room of this card with the five of swords so through some type of confrontation whether that be you know a shouting match whether that just be you know an honest sit down conversation that's civil i don't know but through actually having discussions or being confronted with the truth possibly being met with accusations whether they be based in reality or, or or fair or not i don't know but there's something about things that have been done in the dark coming to light now we haven't talked about this over here emperor energy again major account for aries you don't have to be dealing with an aries but 
Um, for some, okay, here we go. We finally have like a character. Um, for some of you, this could be like a boss or a father figure or an older male in your life. And again, I'm saying an older male and I'm saying all these things. It still could technically be embodied by a female, but this is someone who's in high masculine energy at this time. And they're about the business, okay? So whoever that is, some authority figure in your life could be your own energy, could be you're stepping into the uh, power in the position of the emperor, I don't know. But whoever they are, they mean business, they're very authoritative, they're not gonna take no for an answer or they're not gonna take any bullshit, let's just say it that way, they're not gonna take any crap. So this emperor is either overseeing this energy or is going to interject themselves here or some player in this in this trio of swords cards is going to turn into the emperor and they're about to, you know, pardon the metaphor, but they're about to like, you know, crack some skulls basically. Because the emperor is not petty. Well, Mm, let me rephrase because the emperor can be petty, but the emperor is not an energy, a person uh, that comes into a tarot reading, um, usually looking to stir the pot just for shits and giggles. Like that's that's be that's beneath them. If they're here to do anything and it's upsetting, it is with a higher goal in mind. It is with a long term goal or a bigger uh, a bigger picture in mind. OK, so this is literally the person who. Well, <laughs> I don't know how literally we want it to be, but this is somebody who's going to kick in the door. Kapoof, what the fuck is going on here? I want the truth and I'm not leaving until I get the truth. Like very, it can be hostile. I'm, I'm going to be honest. It can come uh, very aggressively. This person can enter a room or enter a conversation and just like demand, make demands and, 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 and throw their weight around and do all that stuff. It's a very commanding energy. It's very potent in that in that way, um, and that could be sort of what is has someone running scared. Is if if this if this is two different people, you've got one person who's running scared, trying to you know work under the shadow of night and everything like that, and then you've got this emperor who doesn't go for that kind of stuff, doesn't like that kind of approach to life or approach to the situation or handling of the situation. Uh, the emperor, again, I feel is authoritative, intimidating. Um, if if it's not you, uh, Taurus, if this is not you, you don't want to be around this person or you don't want them in your business or you don't want them to, 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 to come to you and ask you to your face what the truth is because you're afraid to tell them the truth or you're afraid of how they're going to react. You're not looking forward to meeting up with this person. Um, some of your cases, this is like a husband or a spouse. It, again, it doesn't have to be a male, um, but this is your partner and you've been holding something back from your partner. Yep. Three of cups. Okay. So some of you have been holding back a third party situation or they, they, you, you know, it, it, take it all with a grain of salt. I'm not going to pick those up because they came face down and I'm not even, yeah, they're like, don't even pay attention to that. But this three of cups for some of you, you've been holding back or somebody has been holding back a third party situation. Now, yeah, <laughs> I haven't had to do this one in a while. My caveat about third party situation on my channel is number one, it doesn't always have to be romantic. Okay. And so I, I'm going to stand with that immediately that if there is a third party situation here, it doesn't always have to be romantic. It doesn't always have to be sexual. It doesn't always have to be salacious, okay? But the fact that I had just said the word spouse and then a few moments later the Three of Cups came out, it is going to be that for some of you. There is a, a, a situation where there has been unfaithfulness on, on the table, in the cards, all, all the puns and, and, and everything, okay? Um, so either you're keeping that from your partner or they're keeping that from you. Maybe you're mutually keeping it from each other. Maybe you both have a little something, something on the on the on the side. Who knows? Um, hmm. If it's not that type of third party situation, again, because I did say there is a caveat. It doesn't have to be romantic. And I did say earlier about the em emperor card. Uh, I mentioned the word boss. So for some of you, this could be a third party situation um, centered around your work, where someone is spending lots of time at night with their job, at their job, 
working overtime to pay the bills. And that's noble, but that also creates all kinds of tensions within a relationship. So if it's not about cheating, which again, for many of you, it's not, I would like you to uh, be able to plug in different versions of what third party situation can be. It could also be um, issues with substances and uh, overindulgence and laziness and um, even other types of relationships can be third party. Okay, so like in-laws, friends, things like that, okay? What else is going on here for Taurus, please, in the situation? What else is happening here for Taurus? Please show me. All right. <clears throat> what else is happening for Taurus in this situation? Please show me. More swords, six of swords, and the eight of cups. Okay, so look, if it's become a little bit more obvious to me, Taurus, that this is an unhappy situation for somebody, a tormenting situation is coming through torment. Um, that's a heavy word, in my opinion. Um, so take it with a grain of salt. What torment means to you is possibly different from the Taurus sitting next to you. You know what I mean? Um, but six of swords, eight of cups. So it's it's tor <laughs> it's tormenting you. It's tormenting the other person. Maybe again, I feel like for some of you, this is mutual. Like your friend, your whoever we're talking about, your friend, your spouse, whoever, your sister, your brother. I don't care. There's there's this mutual upset that you and another person are experiencing, or you and several other people. It could could be more than just you and 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 one person, right? And the desire to go or to change it or to have a, a certain uh, new outcome or reality is here, but I'm not sure that you or whoever wants the thing knows how to do the thing. This is, this is one of the craziest, most uh, volatile depictions of the Six of Swords that I've ever seen. But the Six of Swords, in its traditional understanding, talks about moving away from choppy waters into calmer waters and doing so logically, soundly, even though, obviously, with this depiction and others, uh, the journey will not be easy. It's going to be rough. It's going to be tumultuous, okay? And you have it here, right? Five, six, seven, eight. So you do have, number-wise, number -wise, a sequence, right? So this is developing over time, Taurus. This is maturing or, or, or pushing towards some eventual pivot or change. But it's not easy because this card also, look how dark it is. It's dark. It's stormy. So how to do it is possibly the most puzzling part of it. The desire the envisioning of something different, knowing perhaps, because I do get the sense that this is known, like somebody over here isn't really convincing themselves that they're not feeling what they're feeling. They know what they're feeling, okay? So there's awareness here, but how to, mm, how to use that awareness for the, f to get where you want to go, to, 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 to see your circumstance change the way you want them to change or change for the better, that's the problem. There's no action taking here, taken here except for with the emperor. This person, whether it be you or someone else, is out here about the business of getting results. Another part of the story is just thinking of the results, pondering the, the results, imagining the results daydreaming about the results or feeling tormented about the results that they don't have. Like I said before, there's there's a lot of tormented energy here. So somebody could be plagued with dreaming of a, of a different life. Three of three of uh, cups also here. And, and going back to that whole storyline, if you've got a side biscuit situation going on, you or somebody else, and that's not the main story, that's not the main love affair, then there you go. You're imagining what your life would be like with the other person. 
the reality is you're home with somebody that you don't love or, or whoever's home. I don't know who it is, but whoever's home with somebody that they don't love, they're only there because of the convenience of the relationship. They're only there because they've, they've been involved for however long it, it, it serves its purpose. It, it has some type of benefit, but it's not that quote unquote, like true love. It's not that it doesn't do the thing that is being dreamt about. That's confirmed with the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups seeks the Nine and the Ten, seeks fulfillment, seeks dreams coming true. We've already had our fill with these previous Eight Cups. Maybe some of you, it's been an eight-year relationship. And, you know, I don't tell time with tarot, so don't, like, take it, you know, on the nose about eight. But, like, I feel it's substantial. Let me say it that way, at least. Regardless of how long it's been going on, Taurus, eight years, 62 years, two years, I don't care. There's something about it's been a long time that you've been in this situation with the person. Again, it doesn't have to be a romantic situation. You could be living at home with your parents and your parents are the steady uh, energy in your life and you've lived here forever and you're just dreaming of that life where you can live by yourself in your own home, in your own space, on your own time. You know what I mean? So take it all with a grain of salt. This doesn't have to be about your your very, very... <laughs> lackluster love relationship it could be a lackluster family relationship lackluster friendships you know what i mean and i think the breaking point is somebody here is going to or at least is in the in the in the energy of wanting the truth demanding the truth wanting their confirmation because i feel like i mean yeah because like look at how he is he's been illustrated this emperor energy is illustrated as a game hunter, a hunter seeking something. So somebody here wants to get to the bottom of it. And I feel like maybe it's the person who, for, for lack of a better phrase, is being quote unquote cheated on. And I put it in quotes because again, not all of you are dealing with romantic partners. Again, this could be like you live with your dad. You've been living with your dad for 15 years. You know, times have been tough, whatever it is. And your dad might feel cheated on because he knows that you want to leave. And maybe he wants you to leave too, but there, it's, it, but it might, you know, strike as a strange uh, feeling in him because maybe you're not being honest about that. You know, because again, maybe things are good at home to a certain extent. You know, maybe you don't have to pay as much as you would if you lived alone. Maybe your dad always, you know, makes you dinner every night or something. I don't know. But there's something about the emperor being the truth seeker, but then also possibly being the the uh, injured party, so to speak. Wow, that's so fascinating. Um, so Taurus, I think here, number one, <laughs> wherever you are, I don't know where you are in this story, but whoever's here with the tormented mental state, they're not going to do much. I got to be honest, they're not going to do much. This is withheld, eight of swords, restricted. This is submerged. Look at the woman in the card. She's submerged underwater, three of cups, right? You see the stormy scene with the six of swords, right? You see the seven trying to run away, but being pursued or, you know, feeling like, oh no, they're right around the corner. They're going to catch me. Oh, it's like somebody is so wrapped up in their own mental in <laughs> they 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 don't know what to do someone is so their heads all over the place they have no idea what to do so if you are looking if you're the emperor taurus and you're looking for answers you're looking for the truth you're on the hunt for what what the hell's going on here someone's going to try to evade you if this if if you're the emperor taurus and you just want to know straight up what's going on here. Do you have somebody else? Do you want to move out? Do you want a new job? You know, again, you could be the boss of somebody and they're like, you know, your assistant or something or they're one of your subordinates. And they're perpetrating like they love this job and they're having a great time and they, they enjoy working for you or working for the company. That's not true. They're not happy. So if you're seeking the truth, are you happy? Do you want to continue doing this with me, working with me, living with me, loving me, being in a relationship with me, whatever, being my friend? They're going to say yes. That's a lie. Straight up. 
This is not the, this, all of that is not somebody who's content. So if you ask point blank, are you content? Is this where you want to be? And they say, yes, that's a lie. Done. That's a lie. All right. Um, let's get some advice here and then we're going to wrap up. What is the advice for Taurus in this reading? Please show me. And again, you could flip that. If someone comes to you, Taurus, and they're like, hey, what's up? Tell me the truth. Are you happy here? Do you want to be with me? Blah, 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 blah. And you say, yes, you're lying. So I'm going to call you out too. <laughs> and, and don't, and don't take it, you know, personally, I'm not dealing with the Taurus or anything, but like, this is, mm, I don't know why you would do this, but again, well, I kind of do. I do. I do know why you would do this because again, there's, there's something convenient in this relationship, in this connection that somebody doesn't necessarily want to let go of as of yet, even though there's deep emotional discontent, even though the relationship, the situation is tumultuous. There's still some benefit here that someone is like, yes, uh, I think I could, I think I can stay here. I think I can hold out for what? Anyway, um, mm, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me go ahead and get you some advice and then we're going to wrap up the reading. Okay. So what's the advice here for Taurus regarding the situation? What is the advice in the situation? Please show me. Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse. Hmm. For some of you, Tauruses, mind, this is, here we go. We might be here for a, a little bit of a second. Um, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be dealing with a fire sign. Don't have to be. Um, Queen of Wands in reverse. I would say the advice is mind, mind the passion, mind the temper, you know, I did say earlier high masculine energy, but this could also, again, I told, I mean, it's tarot, it's a general. This could be the same person. This could be the person who's the emperor. They show up also as the queen of wands in reverse. Um, but there's something here about mind the temper, mind the passion, pull back a little bit on any type of uh, aggression or tread lightly around aggressive people. Okay. And again, I, I think I said that earlier where some of you are like a little afraid to confront this person. Maybe, you know, they have a temper. Maybe, you know, they can be overly aggressive and listen, you know, <laughs> you know, your life better than I do. So please don't get into willful, uh, debate, not debates, but willful arguments with people that you know are quite volatile. Okay. You know, your life make good choices, always, always aim to be safe and secure in anything that you do. But there is a, I, I feel a little bit of a, you know who the hothead in the room is, so tread lightly. Okay. Um, the other part of it as a, more how you can take on the energy or use the energy of the queen of wands in reverse for your benefit Taurus is, well, hmm. How to use this for their benefit. Oh, okay. For some of you where this is the other person, whether it be a friend, a lover, whoever, back up off them for, for a while, leave them alone for a while, even if they eventually are the person you want to be with and end up with and all that kind of stuff. But the advice is to put them on, oh, what a terrible phrasing, but put them on the shelf for a minute or evaluate them truly. Is this like, mm, yeah, for some of you, is it worth it? Is, is what, how this is coming across? Is it worth it? Maybe that's why there's no action here. And maybe that's why this is all about mental turmoil is you're discovering that or whoever it is <laughs> who's stepping out, they're discovering, oh, maybe that person isn't worth it. Maybe that person isn't who I thought they were. Maybe that person isn't bringing to the table everything that my emperor brings to the table and maybe I should just go back home. And that's not me also co-signing on going back to anything that's toxic. I'm not saying go back to anything where you're not fulfilled and you don't feel loved and it's just a, a relationship of convenience. I'm not saying that. But, I'm, but what I'm sensing here is the advice might be don't put so much emphasis on the other person as the savior or the solution. You get me? 
whoever this is, whatever this is, if it's external to you, they're not here to save you. They're not here to rescue you. They're not the answer to all of your, 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 your problems. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's that. I mean, there's a bunch more that we could get into, but I'm not going to because I want to try and keep these as sh well. Nothing with on my channel is usually ever that short, but uh, I hope that means something to you. I think there's I think there's plenty more that I can talk about, but I'm not going to do that because simply for for time's sake. And I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, Taurus, that is your reading for mid uh, January. If you liked it, like button is down below. If you want to leave a comment, let me know how this resonated in your life. I would love to read your comments. Um, I'll be back soon with your February readings. Um, I'm thinking I might do something different, uh, bring, bring something new to the channel, uh, in February. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Again, make sure you're subscribed and turn on your notifications. Okay. And Taurus, if you want to get at me for a personal reading, that information is down in the description box below. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.